you wanted to talk about a plan to grow and what that looks like. And as you're scaling, what does that mean for the team? And then that's going to segue into our conversation about then how we track metrics. But once we've established at the foundational level, what's important here, how do you think about the plan to scale and the team to do that? One of the most important things for scale for a contact center is really self-service and leveraging different technologies to really help meet your customers where they are giving them insights and information real time when they need it and the channel that they want. It's all the things that really drive us day to day. One of the things that's really important when we talk about this is I always say like, when you're trying to scale and grow your business, one of the most important things you have to do is put the customer at the center of that. So doing the things that are sometimes painful, like journey mapping and really analyzing all of your data, but understanding your customer journey across your full universe is really important. And so when we think about how we scale, it's important that you understand how they engage with you across the pre-sales function, how they engage with sales and customer success teams and service teams, because holistically what the customers are looking for come across quite a few different teams and in a lot of businesses, a few different P&Ls as well. And so when you think about budgets and how folks are focused on that, if you don't holistically look at it, you're not going to get the great impacts that you're looking for when you're really trying to drive down those interactions and get people to leverage those types of resources. And so for me, I always ask people to take a step back and say, look across your peer sets and really understand how we look at that holistic customer journey, because that's really the foundation to make impacts inside of your contact center. This idea of self-service and it's powered a lot by ai and it's all the rave it's all the trend we're racing in to do it because we know everybody else is first and foremost you've got to be very critical before you just jump on the bandwagon and how you think about that tell us a little bit about how you're approaching this and helping to lead your team when you think about what you're trying to do in a world of self-service the buzzword is a lot of times personalization and it's not just a buzzword, it's what people expect. The foundation of being able to personalize an experience for folks is really understanding it. A lot of times when people make mistakes, when they start to think about where they go, is they start building self-service pathways based on what they think they know about their customers. So if I can leave you with some really important information in this space is you do know a lot about your customers, and that's the best place to start the investigation but it's really just the tipping point. So a lot of times when we think about self-service in a context center, you have a lot of data already of why people call when you look at your case types. What are the types of items that really drive average handle time or drive lower customer satisfaction? There's a lot of things that you know, but it's also really important to take a look at the behavioral data. There's sometimes what our customers tell us and what they do are pretty different. So how can you understand how they're engaging across your universe? And you could never really do too much market research when you think about understanding this information. So a lot of times what I say to folks is take what you think and then figure out how you can go out and get some interviews on the ground, understanding end users and what they're trying to do. And then you're going to validate that with things like surveys, where you're really going out and understanding all of these hypotheses that I had, these things that I thought customers wanted. How do they actually feel about that? When we first started our journey at Relias to take a look at some of this, we really took a look at all the things that we thought we knew. And then we said, okay, how can we prove this information to be correct? And that was really where we started and let the customers tell us that and allow us to really focus in on unique customer segments, unique personas, and really understand what they wanted from us. And that really helped us start that personalization process by taking what we knew and what we validated when we went and engaged with the marketplace. 